Hi, my name's Ken and I'm from RoofTwins.com. I'm at a homeowner's house here in Manassas, Virginia, and the homeowner's complaining about a roof repair that she needs done around the leaking chimney. And after we did a full inspection of the entire roof, we noticed that there's many different areas on this roof that need to be addressed. That's a problem. Uh, the first area that I'd like to talk to you about is the area where she's having the leak. She's having the leak on the sides of the chimney, completely around both sides. So in order for us to correct this problem, we need to remove the shingles, go down to the bad wood, install ice and water shield to the wood surface, remove the siding, have the ice and water shield go in behind the siding, then install step flashing completely around the entire perimeter. Once the step flashing is in position, we can then put the siding back into position and then re-shingle around the entire perimeter of the chimney, and that will take care of that problem. But then you have all these other areas that's causing a problem, and these two areas can cause the chimney to leak as well. As you can see, the flashing is exposed on the outside, and it's nailed down. That will cause leakage to the chimney area. The shingles should have been overlapping the sides, and they should not have nails penetrating through the middle of the flashing. So what we need to do is remove the shingles around all these penetrations here because they all have nails going through the flashing, through the attic fan, through the two st uh, stack pipes, and the two roof vents also have nails going through the flashing. So once we have all the shingles removed around all the penetrations, we can then repair the flashing, then re-shingle around all the penetrations except for the two roof vents. Those two roof vents are very cheap, so what we'll do is replace them, fasten them into position, making sure that the nail heads are holding the flashing down and not putting nails into the middle of the flashing. Once they're in position, we can then re-shingle around all penetrations. And as a precautionary measure, because this can also cause leakage, you have uh, the weather collar on the two stack pipes. If these collars are not sealed well, water will bypass the collar, go inside the flashing, cause leakage all the way down to the basement near the uh, furnace. And uh, we have to seal around those collars with GSL tripolymer sealant. Once all these uh, problems are taken care of, this homeowner in Manassas will never have to worry about having roof repair work done for many, many years to come.